video, I will be showing you a program to make sure that when you're driving an autonomous, you will always drive straight. So here is a simple autonomous program I've created. It starts by starting the gyro task, which is just eliminates gyro drift, which I've covered in my previous video. And but that's not important right now. What is important is the task main. So it starts the task by starting the gyro task to eliminate the gyro drift so that you can have accurate gyro. And then I start the autonomous by touching the touch lady. So this is just how I start my standard program. And then it start it sets some blinking because that's just cool. And then it and then here it sets speed left and speed right to 50 to go forward. This could be any value from 0 to 100 to go faster or slower. It's just 50 is just where I put it. Um, the start task keep straight, which I'll cover in a moment. And, and wait until a motor encoder left drive is more than 1260, which is about 3.5 rotations. And this is just an example. You could change it to go further or not as far, but that's just an example. Then it stops the task, keeps straight, and then stops the motors. And then here's just a standard turn, which sets the motor left drive and right drive, 30, negative 30 turning. Um, then it waits until Jared value um, eight is more than 85, so that it gets 90, and then just stops the motors. This is just a standard turn, and but now I'll get up to the program keep straight starts with setting heading straight to zero <clears throat> and then if the drive value is less than negative two it changes the heading straight <clears throat> accordingly and if the gyro value is um, more than two it set it changes the heading straight uh, again and then to go forward it um, it sets the left drive and right drive to speed left plus heading straight and speed right minus heading straight so that drop go straight and then if it's not c c going complete straight it just it just slightly changes it so you can keep going straight so here's a gyro right in the middle so i'm just going to press the touch lady to get to start it but it you may see it wiggle a bit that just means it's compensating for the drift So that's it. It's as simple as that. Hopefully it helps keep your robot straight.